Hello and welcome to Rathod Science Academy. Today in this session, we are going to see very interesting concept from biology. So this is part of your paper one from your anthropology. So actually why I'm discussing this biology concept today? Because many students who are from maths background, they will be always having a fear that can I do this biology part or not? So if you're reading that concept very clearly, if you're having the concept clarity from that point of view, obviously you can remember that and you can reproduce very good in examination and actually do you know this fact like many engineering students you are getting good marks in this anthropology so don't have this fear of maths or biology okay so even if you are from the maths background you can do very good in this anthropology for sure so just i want to demonstrate with this topic like how easy this biology concept is and especially in your ninth chapter of your anthropology paper one, it deals about entirely genetics. So I'm going to deal with this topic of nitrogen base, nucleoside and nucleotide today. Okay, so let's get started without wasting any time. And I'm Shastri, I'm the director of Rathor Science Academy. I'm going to start new batch of anthropology from 19th December. So if you want to join this, you can call us on the number which is appearing on the screen and you can book your slot okay so let's get started so i want to make this concept very very easy so as you all know that from your school days onwards you will be hearing and you will be writing this single line which is called as cell is a basic structural and functional unit yes or no cell is a basic functional and structural unit right structural unit of an organism for example you can take any organism like any animal any insect or any plant we have the basic functional and structural unit is cell okay let us consider this is as a cell so cell is covered by a membrane that membrane is called as plasma membrane what is that membrane called as plasma membrane and inside this cell we also have the liquid yes so this liquid is called as cytoplasm the liquid which is present inside cell is called as cytoplasm and not only that we can see there are different organs organelles like we have nucleus we have Golgi complex, we have ribosomes, lysosomes, and no plasmic reticulum. Like that, we will be having different organelles. So, these organelles are called as cell organelles. And we are pretty much interested in one cell organelle that is nucleus. So, nucleus is very important. Why? Because it contains genetic material called as DNA. And your entire chapter 9 is revolving around this single word called as genetic material DNA. Okay. So now let us further more simplify this concept. Let us consider this is as your body. Okay. I will be changing the color of pen also. Focus here. And I want 100% focus to understand this concept. So this is body. Inside body, we have what? We have cell. This purple color is cell. And inside cell, we have what? This green color body is your nucleus. Inside nucleus, what we have? We have genetic material. So what is the genetic material? DNA. And we will be going to study about this DNA in this chapter 9 of paper 1 of your anthropology. Okay, to understand what is this DNA or what is RNA, you need to know this basic concept of what is nitrogen base, what is nucleoside and what is nucleotide. Okay, let us see the first concept that is our nitrogen bases. As I said, inside nucleus, we have genetic material, DNA, right? So, we have nitrogen bases there. 
and this nitrogen bases they are nothing but they are chemicals they are chemicals which are present inside our nucleus so you have to remember that these nitrogen bases they are chemicals which are present inside our nucleus and we have two types of this nitrogen bases first one is purines and second one is pyrimidines okay we have purines and pyrimidine so here totally we have five nitrogen bases so we have two purines that is adenine guanine in short we will be calling it as a and g adenine guanine or purines and we have three pyrimidines first one is cytosine c next one is uracil and last one is thymine okay adenosine uracil and thymine these are pyrimidines so i think you might have heard about dna and rna the basic difference between this dna and rna is this u uracil is present in rna and this uracil is absent in dna okay so uracil is absent in dna but uracil is present in rna so this is one basic difference between rna and dna and we will be further dealing about this exactly what are the difference between this rna and dna in our further classes so as of now remember so we have chemicals in our nucleus and those chemicals are called as nitrogen bases and we have five they divide into purines and as well as pyrimidines so this is the first one and if you are adding sugar if you are adding sugar to this nitrogen base it may be adenine guanine or thymine cytosine or uracil so whatever the nitrogen base you are taking if you are adding sugar it will called as nucleoside okay sugar start with s letter and nucleoside also we have yes that means nitrogen base plus sugar is called as nucleoside okay let us keep it aside and further for this nucleoside if you are adding phosphate group that is called as nucleotide so first we will be taking nitrogen base and for this if you are adding sugar this part is called as nucleoside and for this nucleoside if you are adding phosphate group then that is called as nucleotide and now you may ask me a question why you are teaching about this nitrogen base nucleo nucleoside or nucleotide what is the use of this so if you want to understand this concept of dna or rna you have to know about this nucleotide because dna and rna they are nothing but they are polymer or they are chain of nucleotide okay so chain or polymer of this nucleotide is dna but why i am saying rna is also there so the difference between this dna and rna another difference here is based on the sugar for example if you are having ribose sugar if you are having deoxy ribose sugar so here in this nucleoside if you are having ribose sugar then it will forms rna so here in this nucleotide if you are having this deoxy ribose sugar it will forms dna the basic difference is having the sugar so in this ribose sugar if you are removing one oxygen that forms deoxy ribose sugar if a chain or polymer of nucleotide which is formed by this ribose sugar is called as rna and if this polymer or chain of nucleotide which is formed by this deoxy ribose sugar is called as dna clear so this is about the difference between nitrogen base nucleoside and nucleotide if you really understood that if you are reading from that basic level and if you can easily memorize them then this anthropology especially this biology will be very useful for you and very interesting for you guys don't have a fear of biology in this anthropology especially for the students who are belonging to this maths and arts background so try to join this course and we are going to start this from 19 december don't forget the date and one more thing here is the fees is very affordable offline it is 35000 and online it is just 30000 rupees 
Okay, thank you so much guys for watching and if you really like this class, hit the like button and please do share this class to your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ratha Ortiz Academy. And thank you guys for watching.